Every day and each week brings us closer to the future. This week's AI news roundup is, let's jump into it. Amazon has made a new AI assistant called Amazon Q. It is a smart helper for making software and understanding business stuff. It can write, test, and fix code. And it also helps find important business information. It's for both developers and businesses. For businesses, it's like a search engine for all their important data. Prices start at $20 a month for each person using it. Tesla's full self-driving software, version 12.3.4, successfully managed to make a left turn at a busy intersection. It waited for traffic to clear and safely went through a small gap. Welcome to the future, folks. Scientists found lots of new asteroids using AI, which helps us understand space better. They looked at old pictures from telescopes and used a smart program called Thor to find asteroids. Most are between Mars and Jupiter, but some are close to Earth. This helps us keep an eye on them in case they come too close. K. Twig's testimony before the U.S. Senate Judiciary Subcommittee on Intellectual Property regarding the regulation of AI and deepfakes. She revealed that she has been developing her own AI deepfake for the past year. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, wants to make a super smart AI, even if it costs a lot of money. He's ready to spend up to billion dollars each year because he believes it'll help everyone. Whether we burn 500 million a year or 5 billion or 50 billion a year, I don't care. The Tesla Cybertruck's front trunk can hurt fingers because it doesn't stop if something's in the way. This is dangerous, especially for kids. But now, Tesla has added sensors to stop it from closing on fingers or objects. It'll make the Cybertruck a little safer for everyone. Warren Buffett is worried about AI being used for scams and frauds. He compared AI to the atomic bomb, saying it has big power for good and bad. He's concerned about fake videos tricking people and wants rules to protect against AI misuse. OpenAI made the world's first AI music video with Sora using only text. It's for a song called The Hardest Part by Washed Out. There are 55 clips in the video. Check this out. Is this just marketing, or has Sam Altman hinted that something big might be coming soon for ChatGPT? ChatGPT is not phenomenal. Like, ChatGPT is, like, mildly embarrassing at best. Um, <laughs> GPT-4 is the dumbest model any of you will ever, ever have to use again by a lot. Google made a super smart model for medicine called Medgemini. It's really good at understanding medical stuff and searching the web for answers. It's even better than GPT-4. Doctors and researchers can use it to help with diagnoses and learn more about medicine. It's available in lots of languages on the internet and soon on phones too. More and more groups are talking to politicians about AI. Big tech companies like Amazon, Meta, Google, and Microsoft are spending lots of money on this. They're trying to influence the rules about AI. Even though the official numbers might not show everything they're spending, it's probably much more than $10 million. Daniel Kvyat raced against a self-driving car at Yas Marina Circuit. Four AI cars raced each other for a big prize. They went super fast, up to 300 kilometers per hour. Lumen is special glasses for people who can't see well. They have sensors that help you walk safely when you walk. The glasses use AI technology to keep you safe from obstacles like roads or puddles. They help you move around better without needing someone's help. They've been tested by lots of blind people. They are expected to be available on the market in 2024. Hey Lumen, take me to the door. You can now play Minecraft in virtual reality. You can build things in your own room while wearing special goggles. Google and Oxford made an AI to teach robots to play soccer. They use two important steps to train them safely. The robots learn to move around without getting hurt and play soccer against each other. Robots are cleaning up the ocean by catching plastic trash. They've already collected more than 100,000 kilograms. Cleaning up plastic helps keep the planet and its creatures healthy. AI is not going to take your jobs. The person who uses AI is going to take your job. Do you guys agree with that? Okay, so use AI as fast as you can so that you could stay gainfully employed.